If you guys want to buy coins to open packs, to buy team of the season players, to buy international man of the match players, make sure you check out www.fifa14get.com for cheap and reliable coins. Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Games Master 1 here and today I'm going to bring you guys a really nice epic hybrid squad builder. I haven't brought you one of these in a while, I was like, ah, time to bring it back. It features Liga BBVA, Premier League, and a legend in this team. Really, really nice team. Pretty expensive, to be honest. It cost me around the 2.5 million mark or something. So, in goal, who better to put than the one, the only, team of the season, Peter Czech. I'm sorry, I messed up between there. 90 rated goalkeeper. Holy shit. 91 diving, 91 reflexes, 88 handling, 90 positioning, 77 kick. 3 week foot god and 475k. Uh, really not, not a bad bargain to be honest. Since I had the coins and for a team of the season player 90 rated. It's like might as well my goalkeeper. Uh, David Luis over here. He has the pace. He has the heading. However his positioning is horrible. I know you guys really like David Luis because his strength and his pace. But his positioning is horrible. Uh, I'm thinking of changing my center backs. If you have any idea how to, and keep the 10 chemistry, please tell me. You'll see the squad and see if you can replace Dom Luis. I had it. Ashley Cole, on the other hand, it's pretty consistent, but he feels kind of slow and heavy on the ball. Even though he has 82 defending, good passing and all that, but he feels really, really heavy on the ball, so that's what I don't like about him. From the right center back, I'm going to put the La Liga side of this team, so who else? than the best La Liga center back, or even the, one of the best center backs in this game. I know he has the same work rates as Dov Luis, but for some reason I find Ramos in, in the back more than Dov Luis. I feel like Dov Luis does so many mistakes, but this guy has heading, has defending, and has pace. What else would you want to ask for from a center back? Your right back, Danny Alves, the best right back in this game other than Lam. I played with this guy 300 games. He probably goes for cheaper right now. But I played this guy a lot. He has the pace, he has dribble, he has defending, he has passing, he has shooting, he has heading, he has four skill moves. What's not to like about him? My counter attacks start from there. Now, my center mid, I've got a lot of criticism on this before, but I'll still stand my ground. Center mid, or center defensive mid, Modric. Please, please, before you complain and start and say, like, why, who you put Modric in center defensive mid? Try him in a 4 1 2 1 2 CDM and then tell me. Four week with four skill moves. Uh, he has strength, he could pass, he could pass a lot, he could dribble, he has control on the ball, he has balance, he has agility, you would love him. Right mid, Di Maria, four skill moves, that's my favorite thing about him, high work race, he has pace, he has dribble, he has passing, his shooting is very underrated, he could definitely shoot much better than that, and he could even do some headers to be honest, with his platform Di Maria, but you see there I got that Real Madrid going on chemistry from the side, because now you're going to see a few dead links from the left side and over here I kinda spoiled the rest but left mid 88 rated Hazard I've, tr I've tried the team of the season card I reviewed him please check that out but this guy 88 rated uh, left mid with 89 pace 90 dribble the shooting and the passing 4 week and 4 skill moves high attacking work rate 165k is a fucking bargain if you ask me then our center attacking mid Lionel Messi 92 pace, 96 dribble, 84 passing, 89 shooting, 4 skill moves. And for all of you that say Messi is weak and all that talk about Messi, you gotta know how to use him. I don't recommend him for people that cross a lot, but if you know how to dribble, how to play passing, how to play through balls, give it to put Messi as a center attacking mid. I swear to you, he's the best center attacking mid. Right strikers, Crespo. My second favorite striker after Zlatan. I've done a review about this guy. 700k is so cheap when I reviewed him. It was 1.4 million. See, there are 10 games, 11 goals, and 4 assists in Division 1. Has 5 weak foot, 4 skill moves, and his stats are all underrated. I promise you. And we got our second striker. Team of the season, Sergio Aguero. I've done a player review on this guy. Also check that out. His price has dropped. He goes for 900k now. 4 weak foot, 4 skill moves, 93 pace, 95 dribble, 95 shoot. High attacking work rate, what is not to like about this team? This team is too good if you ask me. I've been annihilating people in Division 1. Before I used to beat them by one goal, now I, used to, now I annihilate them. However, I feel like I'm conceding way too many goals because of Davide Luis lacks of positioning. Or even just having two center backs with high attacking work rate is not a good idea. 
So if you guys could please link me to a version of it on FUT Head, how you could solve, like, I don't know, maybe putting company getting chemistry from Hazard, and but I don't want to put Joe Hart. I don't know, please think think of a way to put Thiago Silva or something like that, just somebody else than David Luis. I had it with him. And what else should I talk about? Peter Cech, he's not bad. He doesn't does like miracle save, like holy shit, but he's pretty consistent. A lot of headers, he's able to react and save them. But again, if somebody's shooting against you with Ibra, little what the keeper could do. Just like sometimes he could save some more. Two center backs, strong, pacey. I wish one of them had the medium attacking work rate. My left mids and right mids are too OP. They make runs. They skill, they could pass, they could shoot, they could dribble, they could do anything. They're, they're the best left mids and right mids you could get in this game, or like one of the best in their leagues, if you ask me. Uh, center attacking mid Messi, the, I think he's the orchestrator of this team. Without Messi, I wouldn't score half the goals that I'm scoring in this team. And up top, I got team of the season, Sergio Aguero, which scores a fuckload, and Crespo. Most of my goals are from headers. You're going to probably see from the highlights. I don't even try to cross. It's just like on the corner, like the few corners I get a game or the one or two crosses I do all game. Ten times out of ten, Crespo is going to head that in or Team of the Season Guerrero is going to head that in to the back of the net. So that's that. But again, they're incredible finishers. Everybody makes runs. Everybody connects with each other. It's a really nice squad. So if you guys really like enjoy the squad, drop a like. If you guys want me to make an epic hybrid squad, for around two three million, make it a unique four one two one two, and I'll make it. Just link me, put the links of FUT head and Footwiz in the comment section, and I'll choose one. A really nice team, please. And I finished school. I finished uni for the semester. I bought a snowball microphone, and I'm gonna buy a camera. And soon we'll be fucking live streaming on Twitch. I'm really excited to do that. And just if somebody could help me, I can't figure out how to fix the online streaming. I always get some incredible delay and weird audio or something. If somebody could please message me on Twitter like, hey, I can help you step by step or through party chat. I just want to help. I want someone to help me walk through putting the correct settings for Twitch. So I really need help with you guys with that. And what else is there to say? The FIFA World Cup, FIFA Ultimate Team World Cup will come, so I'll be uploading a lot of that. And yeah, that's basically it. Now, since Team of the Season is done, we're going to stick to player reviews, Team of the Week player reviews, Inform, uh, Man of the Matches, International Man of the Matches, uh, Subscriber Squad reviews. I'll play wagers with anyone. Message me on Twitter, Xbox One. I'll wager anyone. You must lock in. And what else is there? I'm bringing guys a Q&A. I might bring guys even some public videos to me doing some crazy stuff with my friends in public. And yeah, that's basically it for what's coming to my channel. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, drop a like. This is Mr. Games Master 1. I'll see you guys next time.